So guys, today I'm going to be sharing all of my favourite summer beauty items plus a couple of tips on the way. So if you're interested on how to get a beautiful summer glow this season, then stay tuned. Hey guys, it's Becky and welcome to my channel. Uh, thanks for joining me today. If you are new here, I do loads of plus size fashion, beauty and home content every Tuesday and Thursday. And um, sometimes, just sometimes, I do upload a little weekend bonus video as well. Um, so don't forget to subscribe, but also hit that bell so you don't miss any of those weekend videos. Um, and hello to all my lovely regulars. Thank you so much for joining me today. I would love it if you'd give this video a big thumbs up as it really helps push my videos out into the YouTube world and um, gets more people to see them. Um, super, super appreciate any kind of like, um, what do they call it? There's a word for it and it's gone from my head. It's hot today, guys. It is so warm. So if you hear, I have got the windows open. So if you hear anything, I'm really sorry. There's a, currently a police siren, um, but it's so, so hot. I couldn't, now there's a train. <laughs> Everything, anything that could make a noise is out in force today. It is very, very noisy, but I can't film this with the window shut also there's allergies it's so hot and so polleny at the moment it's crazy but i know a couple of you guys have been asking for this video now um so here we go so i'm gonna um get straight into it with base products so i think if there's one thing you're gonna buy um in this video this would be it the super goop glow screen um this is um basically reminds me of the um, Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter but with SPF uh, and it's SPF 30 which your face is classed as like a delicate skin and should be at least having 30 SPF if not 50. 50 is probably a little bit better uh, but they do this in a 30. Um, a lot of like day creams, facial moisturizers, foundations have 15 maybe 20 but that's not enough and nor are you putting enough on for it to class as enough coverage. Um, so Supergoop make loads and loads of different types of SPFs for the face and body. Uh, they even do a powder one if you're oily, um, they do one that's mattifying, they do one that's just straight up, just an SPF cream. But I love the glow screen if you want glow which i feel like is the biggest trend of the summer this year and just in just in general um glow is the biggest um trend so let me just pull you a little bit out because i've not got much left i definitely need to buy a new one so as you can see it's this kind of beigey color and you just rub it in and it just gives the most stunning glow to the skin absolutely beautiful um and that's the small size i think it's like 15 quid on um I'm just getting a wipe <laughs> i think it's about 15 pounds on cult beauty um but i am going to buy the bigger size next time um i place an order because i'm almost run out um so then up next sorry guys, my eye is like it's it's the allergies so my eyes blame me up so sorry if it goes a bit weird <laughs> but next up is bronzer and i kind of want to bust a couple of myths because i feel like as a very very fair person as you can see i feel like we almost feel we should have cool toned bronzers no that's not a bronzer then is it it's a contour um i don't like to contour i have a very round face and no powder or cream is gonna it's gonna change the situation um so i do find that bronzing does help kind of shape the face a little bit but also adds kind of a, a nice lot of, of warmth to it um so i would say as a fair person don't be scared of of warmth obviously you might not want an orange bronzer but there are lots of undertones out there um and formulas etc that you can try so exciting news this was my favorite bronzer last summer it's the nars cream bronzer the sunkissed 
bronzing cream to be precise um and it sold out everywhere and i was saying to my friends oh you've got to get this you've got to get this and they couldn't get it so they were mad they were mad at me um but they brought it back and they brought it back with loads more more shades um so i have laguna which they're now saying is laguna 2 they have got a lighter shade which if i'm honest i think i'm going to pick up i have to use this very very sparingly but it's absolutely beautiful on the skin it does uh, blend out absolutely beautifully um so if i just get you a little bit on my finger there obviously that is an awful lot of product to use um so i'd never obviously use that much product but when you have it on a brush it it blends out beautifully and i just put like a, i just tap my brush in super super gently um but i think i will definitely be getting the next shade down now they've come out with it um but i think if you are a light um skin tone that the, this original laguna or laguna 2 as they're calling it now would be beautiful um but yeah they are coming i don't know whether they're back yet or they're coming soon but highly highly recommend um it's one of my favorite cream blush formulas i think it might actually be my favorite <laughs> then this is a very recent purchase but i have been using it practically every day it's what i have on today it's the maybelline city bronzer i did want to pick out a couple of more affordable items for this i will say i am a bit of a bougie babe i do like to go for you know some more kind of higher end brands um but i do obviously like to try some drugstore bits too and this one is 7.99 in boots and i absolutely love it loads of people have talked about this i'm not i'm not the the discoverer of this product it's been around for a while and a lot of people like it so i was actually trying to get medium cool because that's what a lot of people said um is their preferred shade i accidentally picked up medium warm but it's gorgeous i have no qualms with it i use this all the time to call this medium is quite surprising it's not um <laughs> it's very very light and blendable doing rubbish jobs of showing you um but this is fantastic very very smooth very very silky super blendable and for 7.99 and obviously you can normally get them in a free for two um this is gorgeous and fab and i absolutely love it um so yeah i've been using that non-stop uh, now on to blushes so first blush it's this dior one i feel a bit of an asshole for putting this in because it's so hard to find um i found this um in milan in sephora but i've not been able to see them anywhere so apologies for putting this in but the reason why i'm putting this in today is one because i do absolutely love it but it's the trick that i do with it it's this new I think it's TikTok that started it. It's the W blush. Um, so obviously you putting blush on your nose is not a new thing. I feel like it's, you know, that's a trend that's been around for a couple of years now. But it's the idea of making it look like you've actually caught the sun. Um, and so you go up quite high in like a W motion and just get also get the sides of your nose. And I just think it looks like I've been out in the sun and I've got this really healthy kind of like blushy, glowy, tanny thing. I just think it looks super, super flattering. And this um, blusher, I do, I do think gives a really, really nice effect. Obviously, you could use any kind of blusher you like. I do think peachy tones suit me more um, and I think make the effect come off really nicely. But um yeah i love this blush but that technique i've been using loads it's the w blush technique they call it um and i, and I really like it i really want to share that with you um and then i absolutely love this this is the bare minerals bronzer um i can't remember the last time i used a bare minerals product um but i don't know if you can tell but i've been using this like crazy so they're saying it's between a blush and a bronzer um, this is in Kiss of Pink. I will say this is more of a blush than it is a bronzer. And I don't think I would use this to replace a bronzer. Um, I just use this as kind of a really pretty, glowy, uh, slightly neutral. It's kind of just like a neutral blush. It's, it's just very, very pretty. It's just really nice. Very, very soft. Um and delicate they do do i think it's kiss of peach and kiss of copper they do three other shade uh, two other shades three in total 
but I love it. Um, very, very blendable, just really, really beautiful and flattering. And I really like the concept and I love the colours. So um, great little find. Now we're going on to lip products. So there are two categories that I wanted to talk um, about today. The, the lip products I love for summer. So the first category is the glossy lip. So I know one of you specifically wanted me to wear the Gucci lipstick that I bought in Monaco. Now this is actually, <laughs> I think, be whenever you go into a Sephora or any kind of department, makeup department, things do look a little bit different in the light. And I did think this was going to be a lot more orangey, but it's actually turned out to be more of a pinky coral. Uh, which I still think is super, super pretty. A little bit pinkier than I was expecting, but for summer, very, very fresh and fun. And I actually quite like it. It's quite like popsicle-y. Um, so this is an Emmy Petal. These Gucci lipsticks, they are expensive. Uh, they're the Rouge de Beauté Brilliant. Um, I think they're like called like a coloured balm or something um but i love these again it's kind of very similar to the coco flash uh, chanel lipsticks another fave but i didn't want to put too many expensive options in um but i absolutely love these and whenever i go to monaco i just pick myself one up as like a little treat um but some more affordable options than gucci these tar maracuja uh juicy lips i've got hardly anything left of the coconut shade that's my favorite shade oh i've not been showing you swatches it's just a really really beautiful nude color let me just swatch the goose i am such a but you can see that on my lips but there's the gucci um but these tart ones, I've got so many shades and I wear them all the time. They're very, very comfortable. They now do a plumping one that I like. And they've now come out with a lip cream, which I think is more pigment in it. And so it's more like a lipstick. But I do like these more sheer um, lipsticks. Another favourite, the Glossier Ultra Lips. Um, they do so many beautiful colours. But you can see I've used this one quite a bit. This is in Trench. Again, it's another nude. I do have these in um, a few colours as well and they're just very comfortable, very, very easy to wear. And I think that's the thing with me in summer. I want ease um, over fuss. And these kind of like tinted, glossy lipsticks are so easy to wear. Now, if you want an affordable option, uh, L'Oreal Colour Riche Shine very very pretty um obviously a lot more affordable ooh, ooh, ooh. and that's a beautiful um what do you call my my lips but better shade that's in shade uh 642 just really really pretty and again loads of different kinds of shades in this i do own a couple of them and also the packaging is so so pretty um so I love a shiny lip, really goes with the kind of shiny make, well not the, shiny, the glowy makeup, it is just shiny makeup, um, but really glows with um, glowy skin really, really nicely. It's getting hotter and hotter by the minute in here, guys. So it's a true summer makeup video. <laughs> so up next is another favourite of mine that I love to wear in the summer, and that is orange lip um so i was hoping that this was going to be a bit more orangey but it's turned out to be a bit corally um but orange lips um this is my very very worn oh these are awesome i get them off amazon clear mac lipstick covers uh, or lids sorry if you have a lot of mac lipsticks they all look the same don't they it's like a little army of mac lipsticks these can show you the shades so i actually start to to use my mac lipsticks again um, but this is in the shade So Chode. Chow, chow, chu, chow. It's the French word for hot. <laughs> and um, it's got a little bit sweaty because it's been so hot in here. Um, but I love this lipstick. It is a beautiful, beautiful, um, fiery orange matte lipstick it stays really really nicely and i just think a fiery orange lip with a black eyeliner is such 
a classic summer look and this one I got super super recently if you saw my recent uh, Gunwolf haul but I just wanted to show it because I really love the colour. Um, it is the Tom Ford Wild Ginger Lipstick. Um, apparently this is quite a classic shade it's just in a limited edition package so you can still get this in his uh, normal range but it's just and uh, this one's more of a satin finish but oh oh i i know orange lipsticks can look super super scary but if you wear them in the white right way and think you know your lip is your statement so you you know you don't put too much on the eye it just looks so fabulous and like when it's hot um it just mm, i just really love the look of an orange lipstick um but mac so chode child cho oh god it's hard to say um is my all-time favorite go-to orange lipstick so now we're moving on to the eyes so again i've got two categories thinking of summer you you're on holiday or you're going out for a day trip you don't have long to put your full face on um so you want a like a quick um one shadow look um the charlotte tilbury what do they call eyes to mesmerize cream shadow pots i've talked about these a lot um they are absolutely gorgeous i did pick out the shade rose gold for this video but i do want to get my hands on i believe the shade is called star gold because i do think bronzy golds are just perfect for summer but if you want something a little bit different rose gold is absolutely beautiful very pinky looking um just very very beautiful and the thing with these shadows is because they're not too too shimmery you can um, shear them out to make that transition shade up here but then you can layer some extra on the lid for that metallic look they're really beautiful they last incredibly well for a creamy shadow that doesn't go completely stiff on your eyelid um, and they're beautiful highly recommend and uh, they last a really long time as well um, and then secondly um, I've been really getting into shadow sticks um, this is the Bobbi Brown Longwear Cream Shadow Stick in Sunrise Pink. And this is a beautiful duochrome shade. I got this quite recent as well, but I did wear it an awful lot when I was in Monaco. Um, it's very, very pretty. When it catches the light, you get that gold. Um, I just wore this with a bit of bronzer in my crease and popped that on the lid. It's a very, very quick and easy... Um, kind of day to night look because we were going out meeting some um, friends for drinks and um, yeah I just quickly put the bronzer in my crease pop this on the lid and I was ready to go um, and also this in your makeup bag when you're going on holiday it's very very small especially if you're doing uh, you're just doing a little carry-on case if you're doing a long weekend or something um, very compact makeup and that goes on to my next um category which is summery eyeshadow palettes that are small and suitable for travel um because there are lots of beautiful bronzy eyeshadow palettes out there but they're big and sometimes you don't want that sometimes you want something small so it limits your choices because sometimes you can be blinded by choice but also small uh, for packing so first up this is what i have on my eyes today and it's the easy eye palette uh, for the charlotte darling look um so this is a little charlotte tilbury number i don't know if this is available on the website i will say this was in a cult beauty makeup box thing so i think if you went on like a depop or a vinted You'll be able to find this for a reasonable price and there'll probably be um some new ones on there as well but this eyeshadow palette is very very versatile it's got a great light to dark gradient and you can do so much with it you can stick down here for your day looks beautiful coppery shade that i have in my lid also this gold shade you could go even lighter for the daytime but you've also got these kind of deeper tones which you could do a smoky eye with at night um lots of versatility and i feel like you could definitely get four or five looks out of this as well like you know you're not going to be doing the same look every day if you didn't want to um so for just six shadows and obviously they're charlotte tilbury they're 
amazing quality they blend beautifully um and also not just good for summer holiday this is just good for every day um you could you know wear this to work whenever it's it's a really amazing staple but i do think this is perfect for travel and also it does come in a really sturdy plastic case then um a slightly cheaper option are the Natasha Denona mini palettes. I believe these are £25 and I have picked out the nude palette. Again, very similar to the Charlotte palette, but we have um, just five shades, so one less matte. But I will say there's a lot more variation with the shimmers here. Again, you could make so many looks with just this one palette. Um, it's so, so small and compact. And again, Natasha Denona shadows, I think, are my favourite formula. Absolutely beautiful. Um, they do quite a few of these mini palettes now. This, I think, is the most versatile one they do. However, do go and check them out. There might be one that you kind of fancy a little bit more. But this is just going to give you beautiful, neutral, but also you could do bronzy um, eyeshadow looks with. Perfect, perfect for summer. Um, but if you are a little bit more on a budget, then you can't get any cheaper than this. This is the e.l.f. Um, what is this? The Cream and Sugar Quad. I think this is three quid. Um, it is... Again, very similar, very, very similar to the ones um, I've just showed you. We'll say this transition shade is very light. So I would incorporate my bronzer into um, this quad uh, and then that will make, you'll have like, basically five shadows to play from and make this palette even more versatile. Again, you can go lighter in the daytime and deeper at nighttime and do more of a smoky look. Um, and you've got those two shimmers to play with. This is the smallest palette out of all the ones I'm showing you. So, so small. It's smaller than a chocolate bar. It's like a Freddo. <laughs> And they, again, they do loads of different um, shades in this. I just think that this is perfect to, to throw in a makeup bag for um, a summer holiday. And then if you're like, mm, okay, bronzes are all well and good, but I want something with a little bit of colour, uh, but that still have those bronzy shades. This is awesome. I took this to Monaco and I used it so, so much. This is one of my favourite palettes in general, not just for summer and holidays. This is the Vidya Visi Art Spritz Edit. Visi Art is a, a makeup artist, started off as a makeup artist um, eyeshadow go-to, but they've started doing a lot more kind of uh, user-friendly palettes. And this, I love an Aperol Spritz to begin with, so it, that's what it's inspired from. But you'll see it is a little bit of a state, but look at all the gorgeous tones. That coral shade, it's insane. It shows up so, so well on, on the eyes. It's so vivid and beautiful, but also you do have all those neutral tones, but you've got those pops of color, which just look absolutely stunning um, on, on a holiday. And it's so small. This is so small. You know, when you can share, compare it with the Charlotte, they're around the same size, but you are getting so many more shadows. They don't seem to be making any more um, different um, shades in this size, but they do do a slightly bigger size with bigger eyeshadow pans. Um, there's one that was like a Sandra Pay. I think it was called La Plage. It, that looked really beautiful as well. Um, but this is a fave and I love the size. It's so good for travel. And then finally, I just wanted to throw in some perfumes. Um, so Sol de Janeiro, I think we're also used to the Bum Bum fragrance. Everyone going on about that one. But I love the Brazilian Crush 40, uh, Black Amber, Plum and Vanilla Woods. This smells so good, guys. I'm going to put some on now. Obviously, it is just a body spray, but it does last. I do tend to smell it on my clothes after a while. Um, I've got it a little bit in my mouth. Um, I do know they do a perfume in the original scent, but it's just not, it's not got good reviews, guys. Apparently it's very, very, like, out, got a lot of alcohol scent to it. So I do tend to stick to the smaller sizes. Um, this is the 90ml one. I think it's around £19. I took the, I got this from Space NK, so I took the label off. Um, but they last few ages. Like, I've been using it loads and I've only gone through that much. So um, if I do go through it all, I probably will get the big one. Um, but it just smells so, so good. So, so sexy. Um, 
yeah space in case sell this and selfridges if you want to go smell them in store and then finally if i'm not wearing that i'm wearing this this perfume guys mm, i can't get over it i'm so happy that i bought it um it is the d and g light blue italian love um i said in my last video i don't like um d and g light blue at all i don't like it but this oh god it smells so good it's citrus but woody and it's not it doesn't smell like a, a kitchen cleaner or something like that it smells really sophisticated very sexy um it just smells really good i can't get over the smell um it's nothing like a like i don't own a single perfume like it um I absolutely love it um, and it's so, it just smells like summer um, and I think as well in if you're wearing this in heat like obviously the heat does affect scents and I feel like this is going to only affect the scent in a good way it's just going to make it smell even better um, so I absolutely love that perfume so much it's all I'm wearing at the moment <laughs> So guys, that is the end of today's video. Um, I hope you found it helpful and interesting. Let me know down below uh, some of your favourite summer um, makeup beauty must-haves. Um, if you haven't yet, don't forget to subscribe, like, and I will catch you in the next video, guys. Bye!